in this and subsequent lecture video what we'll do is we'll examine what I call the basic trade model and here the purpose is to explain the reasons as to why foreign trade takes place why do countries export and why do countries import and the second question we'll try to answer is what are the consequences of foreign trade on different participants or different economic agents now in international trade for most part we use general equilibrium analysis it's a very powerful tool but what I'll do is the following initially we will look at one market at a time or what we will be conducting is partial equilibrium analysis and the reason why I'm doing this is simply it will make some of the basic issues very clear and once you understand the basic issues we can adopt general equilibrium analysis to understand international trade. Now let us go over some basic economic rules and this is about how economic agents behave. We know consumers buy more when price is lower and they will buy less when price is higher. What about businesses or producers or sellers? Producers will sell more when price is higher and less when price is lower. This is how consumers and producers behave. The third thing you should know in terms of basic economic rules is what we are looking at is a called price adjustment model and what this means is prices adjust to clear the markets and this could happen domestically as well as internationally and this is how markets operate if for some reason demand is greater than supply or we have a shortage of this good in such a case the market price will rise and it will continue to rise till we hit equilibrium that is demand equals supply. Now in this case when demand is greater than supply when price rises what will happen to demand based on the first principle as price rises people will tend to cut back on demand and as price rises what will happen to supply it will go on increasing and initially we had a situation of demand being greater than supply and now demand starts to fall and supply starts to increase and this will go on happening till we hit a point where demand equals supply or this point is called equilibrium point and the other possibility is if for some reason demand is less than supply or what businesses have is a situation of surplus or inventory buildup. When this happens prices will fall. When prices fall what will happen to demand it will increase. What will happen to supply it will fall. And this adjustment will go on till we hit equilibrium that is where demand equals supply so keep these basic rules with yourself and this makes life easy for us to understand basic economic model of foreign trade under partial equilibrium analysis let us look at an example of clothing we are looking at market for clothing and there are two countries the US and India and on these axes what we have is QC the horizontal axis QC stands for quantity of clothing and PC which is on the vertical axis for each of the two countries it stands for price of clothing and initially let us look at a situation of no foreign trade and or uh, and Autarky means a situation of no foreign trade. So in future when we use the term autarky you should remember we are looking at each country separately and there is no foreign trade between these two countries. 
So we are looking at a market for clothing in India as well as the US and you have the familiar demand and supply curves in each of the two countries. You already know what is equilibrium and equilibrium is a point where demand equals supply and for the US equilibrium will happen at a point like EA where demand and supply curves intersect. Similarly for India, equilibrium will happen at a point like EA prime where demand equals supply. Now, based on this equilibrium, we can figure out how much quantity of clothing will be traded in absence of foreign trade and what will be the price of clothing in absence of foreign trade in India. And let us assume that the price of clothing in India when we have no foreign trade is say $20. And let me just place $20 at the right spot. So here we have equilibrium price of clothing in India is $20. And for the US, we have this equilibrium point EA. We can drop this to the horizontal axis and we know how much or what will be the quantity of clothing that will be traded in the US in absence of foreign trade. And we can bring this point to the vertical axis and we know how much will be the price of clothing in the US. And let us assume it is $5. So what you find here, when there is no foreign trade, the price of the same item called clothing, it could vary across countries. And in this case, it is $20 in India and $5 in the US. Now we know when there is no foreign trade or we have a situation of autarky, an article of clothing sells for $20 in India and for $5 in the US. Now, suppose from a situation of autarky, US and India decide to engage in free foreign trade. Now, an article of clothing is selling for $20 in India and $5 in the US. And so Indian consumers would like to purchase this article of clothing from the US at $5 or any price lower than $20, the amount that they were paying earlier. Now, look at the situation from the US perspective. When the price is $5 a piece for an article of clothing, the demand equals supply. So there's nothing extra with the US to sell to the Indian market. And so Indian consumers want to buy it from the Americans, but Americans have no extra stuff to sell to them at $5. Suppose the price rises and the price is somewhere here. And let us say, this is at seven dollars let me just write this down seven dollars a piece <clears throat> and that didn't really work so let me just try again seven dollars a piece there you have it now at this price what you'll find is the following a lot more consumers in India want to buy this product from the US and in the US at $7 the supply has increased and demand has gone down and in India demand has gone up and the supply has gone down but if you look at this distance this will represent a situation of shortage. Why? Because demand is greater than supply. 
and this is the amount that Indians would like to buy or import from the US but at a price of seven dollars you find US is producing some extra surplus which can be sold to the Indians or the US is in a position to export certain amount of clothing to Indians but what you find is the amount of export that the US can generate is much smaller than the import that India would like to have and so again the we'll have a situation of what we can call international shortage of clothing at a price of seven dollars so again there'll be a tendency for world prices to rise and rise above seven dollars a piece now through the iterative process suppose the world price the price that is common to both the US and India settles at ten dollars an article of clothing at ten dollars for an article of clothing the demand for clothing in India is 100 units how much is the domestic supply in India it is 20 units of what we have is a shortage in India which is 80 units the difference between demand and supply and this will be met through imports coming from the US and at this price of ten dollars what is happening in the US market you have a surplus at ten dollars and what is the extent of surplus it is supply is hundred at a price of ten dollars and the demand is twenty units at a price of ten dollars in the US and so this difference between supply and demand will represent that surplus that the US can now sell to the Indian market and this will constitute exports for the US and what you find at a price like ten dollars is that imports of India which is 80 units equal exports of the US which again is 80 units let us just summarize what we have learned through partial equilibrium analysis about foreign trade so here is a quick summary the first thing we learned is it is the differences in prices between countries that becomes the basis for foreign trade and these differences in prices exist when we have autarky or a situation of no foreign trade and we also learned that the country with the higher autarky price will import the product in our case or our example it is India and the country with the lower autarky price will export the product in our case it is the US Another thing you must have realized when you go by look at the diagram is when you have free foreign trade, consumers in India are happy. Why? Because they are paying a lower price for the product as compared to a situation of autarky. And producers are unhappy in the importing country or India. And why is this? because now they're getting a lower price for their product and what they do is they cut back on production so businesses in this line of production will not be happy now look at this from the perspective of exporting country consumers are going to be unhappy in the exporting country why because now with free trade free foreign trade the consumers in the US have to pay a higher price but producers or businesses are very happy in the exporting country or in the case of US why because they're getting a higher price for their product so you should know what is the basis for foreign trade and foreign trade is always a mixed bag in that sense some section of the society is happy with it others are not so just keep this with yourself thank you for your time